All right, traders, I just wrapped up my best trading session in 2023. I ended up making $30,000 in profits today, and I ended up making 13 trades on SPY. 11 were wins, nine of those wins were in a row, and I had two small losses, cut them very, very quick. I also ended up swing trading triple BY stock, and I made a $9,000 profit by buying 200,000 shares at an average cost of 31 cents, and then selling at 35.5 right towards the peak. With that being said, I am going to show you how to master the trading strategy that we are using to consistently make money scalping within the stock market. I'm gonna show you how we were able to top tick the SPY, buying puts at the lows when SPY's at the peak, right before it crashes, multiple times today. We absolutely crushed it. As you know, Fridays are known for being my best days. Not one single person in the polls was red today. Big shout out to Trader Society. Big shout out to Muhammad for absolutely crushing it. Big shout out to Jim C. He had a crazy week. Big shout out to Top G. His polls are incredible as well. With that being said, we're going to be doing our first meetup within Trader Society. Dimitri, one of the biggest traders within Trader Society. Top G, Steven Mohammed in New York City next weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. For those of you who are in Trader Society, if you want to you know, see us in New York City, maybe we can um, arrange that. So send me a direct message as well. Now, with that being said, let me show you how we're able to master the SPY because the trades that were made today was truly incredible. And the tips that I'm gonna provide to you within this video are gonna help make you a beast in terms of trading. So let's get into it. So what I need you to understand is these are, the, these are some of the things that have drastically changed my trading um, for the best um, in terms of this past year, things that I've added. It's the 30 minute chart. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that you can use with the 30 minute chart and the scalping trading strategy that I'm using on the 30 minute chart. In terms of how I trade personally, I will look to execute my trades using hot buttons, right, on Thinkorswim, on DAS platform. And in terms of how I read my charts and how I read my price action, it is all purely done on my iPhone. I use the TD Ameritrade mobile app. That is my favorite app to use for reading charts. And that is all I use for charting. I don't use any indicators or anything like that. Um, in terms of key levels, I look at the previous closing price. But look, man, I'm gonna break everything down. I'm gonna break down the key levels to you. Um, I'm gonna break down the trading plan, right? The analysis, everything was just 100% spot on. This is just something where you just had to be there to witness it because you just couldn't get more accurate in terms of what we were doing today. So in terms of the trading plan, I said, my thoughts on SPY today um, are um, bearish. You know, overall, I believe we're going to be bearish. I think we're going to be, um, you know, so the highest I can see this going to is $413. This likely won't fill the gap at 414. That was 100% spot on. And then I said on um, my short zone, this is the zone we're, we're going to be interested in uh, shorting. 412.50 to 413 the exact highs. It was so on point and so spot on. So I'm gonna walk you through this. We did plenty of trades on puts. All the profits were mainly just from puts. I skipped in terms of the calls. I had no interest in calls today because I was overall bearish on the day, but let's get straight into it. So like I said, it's on the 30 minute chart. So in terms of what the 30 minute chart means to me personally, it's gonna help give me the direction for the next 30 minutes. So what I do is, write this down, I wait for 30 minute candlesticks to close. A 30 minute candlestick closes every 30 minutes. So the market opens at 9.30, the first one will close at 10 a.m. And then the next one opens up at 10 a.m. and then that closes at 10.30 a.m. So what I do is, I wait for these 30 minute candlesticks to close. And then I look for patterns at key support levels, at key resistance levels, and I'll show you how I come up with these levels, right? But I look for patterns and if I see a clear pattern where I can identify, okay, this 30 minute candlestick looks a certain way. So like one quick example that we went over in terms of the last video, see this um, gap down, see this gap down, spy forms like this uh, bullish trend reversal candlestick this bullish trend reversal candlestick, it spikes for next 30 minutes. It spikes for next 30 minutes. So when we see that close like that and we see the history, we start hitting calls, right? So that's what I do. So write that down, right? 30 minute candlesticks close, look for patterns at key levels. So in terms of um, what did I end up doing today? So let's focus on the chart because all I do is trade the chart and the way I read the chart, like I said, what works best for me because um, you know, I started in high school. Luckily I got involved with this, you know, when I was very, very young. Um, and 
I used the TD Ameritrade mobile app. You know, I didn't have access to a computer in high school, so I had to use my phone. And I stick to that because that's what works best for me in terms of reading the charts. Obviously, executing trades is not the best way to execute, enter, and exit on a phone. I use hot buttons for that on desktop. But in terms of reading the charts, um, I know it sounds crazy, but in my experience, the TD Ameritrade mobile app is just simple. It works. It's phenomenal. And this is how I read charts with TD Ameritrade mobile app. Um, not even with Think or Swim. Think or Swim, I just do the recap videos. But um, anyways, in terms of SPY, we knew that 411.50 was our make or break level, right? So you could visually see right here, um, excuse me, 411.88 to 4.12. This was support. 4.12 was support, it cracked. So when it spikes back up initially, the first time, it's gonna try to crash and turn that previous support into resistance. Why? Because support cracked. So write that down. If SPY cracks a support level and it has a massive pullback, a massive overreaction to the downside, if it spikes back up just as fast, as it went up, the initial first reaction is likely going to be puts. So I wanna give a big shout out to um, Bobby Z-Man within the chat. He ended up playing puts before me. He timed it perfectly. He got a phenomenal entry. He ended up hitting puts at 412 in the morning. He made a 23% profit return scalping those puts. Big shout out to him. I chose to set out, I chose to wait. But um, one of the strategies that could have been used was SPY had key support at 412. It had a massive pullback. It instantly spiked back up. It's struggling, it's forming a double top, it's forming resistance. You have a bearish trend reversal gravestone doji right here. Big shout out to Muhammad within the chat for um, pointing this out as well in terms of candlesticks. These are my favorite candlesticks personally. The gravestone dojis are bearish at resistance. Um, the dragonfly dojis are bullish at resistance. These um, are Japanese trend reversal candlesticks. Those are my favorite trend reversal candlesticks um, and they're the most accurate and powerful. They're rare, but you can see how well it works, right? Um, you know. Support cracked, big pullback, rips back up. Previous support is going to try to react as the new lower high as the resistance level. That's how you find your best levels. And it formed a doji, which is bearish, right? And like we said, um, this was the level, this was the middle level. So in terms of yesterday's video, if 412 reacts as a resistance, then it's bearish, which it did. Um, if it reacts to support, then it's bullish. It doesn't go to 414 to fill the gap, though. What it's going to try to do is, and this is where, um, I, this is how I was able to catch the exact top um, on puts, was this nice trade I had right around here. So, um, Looking at the five minute chart, you can visually see, right? You had support on SPY towards like this, um, this uh, 41270 level. There was support on SPY at 41270. There was also some support at like this low 41310. These support levels right here were never really tested. So if it spikes back up to those support levels, since it had a massive crash, it's gonna try to react as a resistance and react as a lower high. That's one reason as well why I was hitting why I was hitting puts at the exact peak when this was at 4.12.60. Um, but let's kind of go into some 30 minute um, patterns now that you're kind of understanding some of the chart and some of the basics to um, some of the price action trades, right? So in terms of the 30 minute patterns, what are some patterns that ended up forming when the 30 minute candlesticks closed today that helped lead us to the right direction for the next 30 minutes because that's what this 30 minute trading strategy does it's supposed to lead you in the right direction for the next 30 minutes and instead of um you know entering that trade within the favor of 30 minutes and just holding for 30 minutes and then getting out what i do is i i i take two to three scalps i'll make two to three scalps within those 30 minutes and i use the one minute chart to make those actual scalps the 30 minute chart is going to really help me identify whether it's going to be bullish or bearish but only if i see a clear pattern which is what i'm going to show you and i've been showing you in these videos right so write this down only if i see a clear pattern where history repeats itself and um it's more than just patterns patterns can be great but you need to understand in terms of trading it's more than being right you want to enter competent trades so um i like to enter these 30 minute patterns where history repeats itself where the price is right it's a good price for calls it's a good price um you know for bears like there's going to be times where the 30 minute pattern is not at a good price for calls not at a good price for bears and it's going to work and you're going to feel like oh man fear of missing out i should have played that it's like no it's not about being right don't enter trades with poor entries where you can get trapped even if you're bullish or bearish just sit on the sidelines and wait for the right prices along with these patterns those are some more tips and trips um i can give you right so we knew key resistance towards 413, uh, 41250, that previous support right here, this 14, this four, um, you know, see this double bottom, right? When it cracks, bloodbath, 30 minute chart, right? This is a 41310, the low of this, bloodbath. So if it spikes back up towards 41310, take some starters at 41250, it's gonna 
crash, right? So I use that 30 minute chart and that five minute chart to identify crashes as well. But um, let's go over some patterns with the 30 minute chart. So let's kind of just get into this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to visually look at these 30 minute candlesticks and I'm going to start comparing them um, on the five day chart and you can compare them all the way back. You can go as far back as you want until you see something clear that makes sense at a key competent level, right? And you kind of want to do this um, key resistance levels towards the high of the channels on um, puts and uh, key support levels towards the low of the channels on calls, right? So you have to kind of wait for the chart to kind of develop throughout the week, right? So um, anyways, let's just visually look and see if we can catch some patterns here, right? So right now I'm just trying to jog my memory and I'm trying to remember the trades that I ended up making today because I was trading at the speed of light um, and I got to start looking for in terms of some of the things that I was doing. So let's just visually see and uh, look at the patterns here, right? So in terms of the SPY, um, we had a red, green, red move. So it went red, green, red. And then what happened after that? So let's see, is there anything with like a red, green, red uptrend? Um, let's see, let's see. So um, I'm not really, oh, so here we go. This is it right here. This is one of the trades. Um, I remember this one now. So I'm right here. Red, green, red, it uptrends. What does it do after that? On the next 30 minutes, it spikes back towards the high of the previous 30 minutes then it sells off. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? It did the same exact thing. Take a look. Red, green, red, red, green, red. It's going up. What does it do on that fourth 30 minute candle? It tops at the previous 30 minute high. Well, look at this. It's the same exact thing. I know it looks a little bit different, but the same exact thing basically repeated. Red, green, red. What does it do on the next 30 minutes? It goes back up towards that previous 30 minute and then it sells off, had a nice drop. That's one of the reasons why I was able to hit puts towards the exact top of that by catching that 30 minute pattern that took 90 minutes, 1.3 hours, hour and a half to develop. So there, there you go. That's one, that's one right there. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going and let's, um, you know, continue to see if we can continue to find some patterns, right? So I'll look at like the five day chart in 30 minutes to do this and you can go back as far back as you want, right? But I like doing it with recent chart history. So um, let's just study and let's just see if we can capture them all. Like I said, I'm not gonna try to capture them all and go over every single trade. And um, like, so in terms of like that pattern that I just showed you, what I will do is when I identify that's bearish, I'll say, okay, when it retests the highs of that previous 30 minute, I'm going to try to um, buy puts and just get in on puts. I won't even look for some sort of bearish confirmation, but I'll look at the one minute chart as well, but I'm really not looking for a bearish confirmation. I'm just getting in at that best price. Well, how do you know where the best price is? Um, it said, it said it was going to top out at the high of the previous, which is what it did, right? So, um, and we also know, you know, in terms of history, right? So I combined that pattern and I looked at history. I said, this topped at 412. It had a massive crash. History is going to repeat the 30 minute chart gave it away. That's my confirmation, the 30 minute candle. And then, you know, once previous closing price cracks, forms this lower high bearish candle, it sells off. It sells off. History repeats itself. The strategy worked, right? So um, that was one method that I used where I missed out. So understand, I missed out on puts. I didn't buy puts right here. I bought puts on the second retest. That second retest, it wasn't a double top in my eyes. Um, it was the 30 minute chart. The 30 minute pattern is the reason why I took that trade. I didn't sit here and say, um, you know, there was resistance at 412. Let me try shorting the double top. I didn't do that. I could have done that on the first initial reaction. But the main reason why I took that trade on the retest was that 30 minute pattern that I just shared with you. And like I said, what I'll do is I'll just get in and then I take my profit quickly, right? So if I'm getting in towards the peak, um, there's some support at previous closing price, take some profits. And then um, I'll just look to get back in. I'll look to get back in on key spikes, on key rip. There really wasn't many spikes um, in that situation. But I held. I held that trade nicely. Um, I sold it too soon, but I held it for a little bit longer than I did. And I did very well in that one. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, um, let's continue. Let's see if we could find um, some more 30-minute patterns, right? So um, let's just, let's just um, see the charts. This one, this was the one. This was the one that told me to avoid puts. I didn't do puts again, and it told me to go with calls. But I didn't buy the calls, even though it would have worked. The reason why I didn't buy calls is um, I didn't like the price. I didn't like the entry. It was at resistance. That's why. But it still worked. But again, like I said, write this down. It's not about being right. Enter competent trades. Enter trades with great risk to reward ratios. This is crashing, even though it's going to spike and break out. That's what it's saying. It's crashing. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't want to buy um, calls towards the highs. We'll just sit out and wait for an opportunity for puts. But look at this right here. Look at this. Look at this. Red, green, red. Now look at the candlesticks, right? Look at the candlesticks. 
study this candlestick. So just look at how this looks. Look at how this looks. Look at how this looks. Look at how these three candles look. It's all visual. You don't need to know the name of these candlesticks. It's all visual, right? So I want you to compare one, two, three, these three candlesticks to this right here. One, two, three. Do you see how that's very similar? Do you see how that's very similar, right? It's trading towards um, some support. It's trading towards some support. It's turning previous resistance into support. Red, green, red, red, green, red. And it's just how the candlesticks look. Look at how these three candles look. And then look at how these three candlesticks looks, right? What happens at the fourth candle? On the fourth candle, massive spike up. That's why when this 30 minute candle closed um, red, this 30 minute candlestick right here closed red, that's why I said avoid puts. It's going to spike. It's going to go to 41270. Mohammed's right. Mohammed um, uses gamma and um, you know this magnet type of strategy. He uses different strategies. He's doing very, very well. And he was bullish. He thought it was going to go to 41270. Now, I wasn't bullish, but I became bullish when this 30 minute candlestick closed. And I said, Mohammed, you're going to be right because I saw a clear confirmation. He was bullish before me. He uses different strategy. I stick to what I know and I stick to what works for me and I'll, I change. I, I'll flip like a light. I'll go from saying, oh, this is bearish to, oh, now this is bullish. I'm avoiding puts. I'm not doing puts because again, red, green, red, massive 30 minute candle spike, red, green, red, massive 30 minute candle spike. And they look identical. If you compare that red, green, red, if you compare this left side to this right side right here, it looks identical and it had the same exact move. And look, it, it's crazy. It even bottomed at like the same type of, look at this. So right here, the closing price to this candle, see how it bottoms at the closing price? That's where you know where to enter, right? It bottoms at the closing price. Oh, history repeats. Look, it bottomed at the closing price. Do you see how crazy that is? It's bottoming at the same price of the sculpt of the shape of the candlestick, and then it spikes. And like I said, instead of just, so in that situation, that's an opportunity for calls. Now you could do calls, but I didn't do it because it was that resistance, but I was bullish and I just sat out and that's fine. Again. Trading's more than being right. Write that down. Risk to reward. Good competent trades. Avoid bull and bear traps. There was major um, bull traps being created at this level. So I said it's bullish, but I'm going to avoid um, calls because I don't want to buy calls high. But I'm not going to go buy and puts if it's bullish, right? And boom, history didn't repeat itself. It didn't crash right here. It broke out. Surely enough, these 30-minute patterns will change your life. So that's another example, right? Let's keep on going. Let's look for some, uh, let's look for some more examples here within the 30-minute chart. So um, I'm just going to see, again, what you need to understand is, folks, this all looks different to me. Um, I'll show you, like, this is what I'm looking at. So look at what you're looking at right now, and you're going to see, wow, this looks so different. Like, this is why um, it's not as clear to me because I don't, I don't trade using what you're looking at. This is what I trade. So this is what um, I'm trading on. This right here, let me see. Can it focus? Um, hold up. Let me let me. Get rid of the brightness. Let's see if that will, this, okay, this should fix it. Give me one second. Okay, this is what this is what I'm looking at, right? It looks so, so different, man. I know I know you can't really see it, but it's the TD Ameritrade um, mobile app. This is what I'm looking at, so different. So I'm trying to kind of show you guys exactly um, what it is that I'm looking at, but I'm gonna make these videos a lot more better and put a lot more time and effort into them because I really want you guys to get this stuff. But within the chat, man, people are starting to get it. We're gonna, we're gonna be crushing this, doing this live. But um, anyways, in terms of um, 30 minute patterns, um. I believe those were the main ones. Let me just take a look at this um, here. Here, let me look at my phone. It'll be easier. So um, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, I mean, those those were the main ones. Oh, this was one more. We got one more. This was um, one more. Let me find this. This right here. Okay, look, this was the last one, folks. So this was the last one. And again, there was more than this, but I'm showing you like the main ones, right? So look at this. You have this, um, you have this, this wick. So you have this wick on the 30 minute, right? Hear me out. You have this wick, you have this wick on the 30 minute. Then you have this bearish 30 minute candlestick. Then you have this bearish 30 minute candlestick. And then what does it do after that bearish 30 minute candlestick? After that wick, it drops for 30 minutes. And um, look at where it tops out. It tops out towards the high of this body right here, towards the high of this body. Look at where it tops out. It tops out towards the high of this body. See the similarities, right? Um, now it didn't continue to drop like it did last time, but you can only milk it for so long, right? So, um, those were some patterns. Those were some strategies and, uh, write this down. So basically within these 30 minute candles, I don't just say, um, okay, history is going to repeat itself. It's bearish. Um, let me get in on puts. I, I scalp, I, I'll make two to three trades within that 30 minutes instead of holding. And what I do is 
Um, if it's bullish, I buy calls on support levels on dips. So if a, if a resistance level breaks out, I wait for it to pull back to where it had the breakout, then I buy the calls. Um, and then I sell the rip. So um, in terms of puts, I wait for it to spike, right? And then I buy on the spike and then I sell the dip, right? So um, very, very simple stuff, right? And you could wait for it to crash when it bounces back up to the previous support level from where it crashed, then you buy the puts like right here. Um, the trend was bearish. This is a support level at 4.12.20. If the 30 minutes bearish, wait for it to crash. And then when it spikes back up to this previous support, 4.12.20, you buy puts, you buy puts, and then you sell into the dip, right? So um, those are some tips and those are some tricks um, that I can give you. But um, this should help a little bit in terms of what I'm doing. So I want you to understand, I'm waiting for 30 minute candlesticks to close. I'm waiting for them to form um, some sort of pattern, some sort of style. Sometimes they can be connected. For example, this was um, this was a 90 minute pattern. This uh, red, green, red uptrend for the crash, that was a 90 minute pattern. It took 90 minutes for that to develop and figure out, okay, it's bearish now. Um, this was a 90 minute pattern right here. So it took 90 minutes, this pattern right here to figure out, okay, it's bullish now. So patterns take time to develop. And what you need to do is you need to catch these patterns. You need to wait for the chart to develop. You need to wait for the patterns to form. You need to wait for the 30 minute patterns to form, wait for everything to develop. And when you see something that is crystal clear at a good entry, okay, is this a good level where the bulls are getting shot for puts? Let's do puts with the 30 minute confirmation. Okay, is this a good level where the bears are getting trapped at support? Okay, let's do confirmation for the calls on the 30 minute. Okay, it's in the middle, not a good risk to reward ratio for calls or puts, but I see a pattern. Let's do a sidelines or let's do a smaller position size. Let's just sit out, right? You need to enter good to risk to reward ratios um, with prices on these 30 minute candlesticks. So that has been the big shift for me. That was my big breakthrough in terms of um, trading spy. So I'm telling you, man, the biggest breakthroughs that I've had with mastering and trading the SPY is the 30 minute chart and using the TD Ameritrade mobile app. Those for reading the charts, right? So reading the charts, reading the price action for me, in my experience, right? I can't say it's going to work for everyone. They're going to do as well as me, but I'm preaching from my experience. I've tried everything, right? What works best for me is the TD Ameritrade mobile app for reading the charts on my phone. If I do this on the desktop, fucking terrible. Um, and then the 30 minute candlesticks, this 30 minute candlestick strategy, along with the gap strategies, the previous closing price strategies, along with, um, bear and bull trap levels, key support, key resistance, overreactions. Okay. Spy crack support. It had a massive drop when it spikes back to the previous support. We had the puts. Okay. Spy had a massive breakout. Um, when it goes back to that breakout level for the first time we hit the calls, right? Overreaction plays, stuff like that. The calls on the dips with what I said, the puts on the resistance with what I said, avoiding the middle range, focusing on the tops and lows. Those are some tips and trips that I can give you. And one thing folks um, that has made me a lot better recently that I've studied is um, dedicating and applying myself. Sitting here for the entire day and doing nothing else but staring at charts, notifications turned off. Everything's um, on not disturbed mode. I'm looking at my phone. In my experience, I found a very, I found the highest level of focus that I've ever found. Not just trading stocks, my focus on trading stocks, it's off the charts. I, I can't, I can't get more focused on anything else unless it's a girl, it's stocks. I can't get more focused, more dialed in, more locked in um, within the stock market. And the way I do it personally in terms of to get that zone, that focus is by reading the charts on my phone. That's just what works for me and my experience. I'm not telling people to do that. I'm just saying in terms of competence and confidence and my ability as a trader to read price action, it comes from my TD Ameritrade mobile app. That's where it comes from. And um, what I've added throughout the past year to my strategy, my strategy has always revolved around trading price action, trading the chart, not using indicators and the things that I teach you with the candlesticks. The 30 minute time frame has genuinely changed my life. I've tested every single time frame. The ones that I use were the one minute in the daily. I didn't care about the five minute too much. I don't use 10, 15 minute, one hour. I've tried everything. The 30 minute time frame with one minute time frame scalps within those 30 minutes in the daily chart and the 30 minutes are gonna help give you the direction where it's going. The one minute is going to help get you get is going to um, help you with scalping in and out, 
making two to three trades within those 30 minutes instead of just holding and hoping for 30 minutes. So um, those have been some things that have changed my life drastically throughout the past year um, of trading. And in terms of the massive difference, I have never performed at levels as high as that I'm performing. And it just continues to get better. And like I said, also the time. I've noticed if I sit here and watch SPY the entire day, it will help me with my direction and price action. It will help me for a feel and move for things that can't be explained. It just needs to be seen on how it's actually moving. Is it moving fast? Is it moving slow? Is it going to have a rug pull here? Just visually seeing things that are hard to explain just by visually watching the charts all day, seven hours straight and being disciplined enough to sit there and wait for something that is an amazing setup, a trade so good where if you retire from trading, you're willing to step out of retirement because it's just such a good trade and you love trading. And we're not just doing this for money. We're actually doing this because we're actually passionate about it, right? So um, that's what it's been for me, man. I've noticed if I sit here the entire day and watch the price action, I will be able to trade the price action better because I understand the way it's moving more than someone else who is in and out throughout the day doing other things, not as focused on just the way it specifically moves. Again, there's things in price action that just can't be explained. It's a certain feel. It's a certain movement, a certain jerk, a certain way it will move, how it will react, where you just know I'm going to hit it at that level. I don't even need a certain comfort. I'll just get in, right? So um, those are some tips and tricks that I can give you. Also with the options um, on my puts, I buy my puts on green candles. On my calls, I buy my calls on um, red candles. And typically what I look for is when I buy into the red candle on calls, it flips bullish. So I don't wait for the one minute candlestick to close. I get in as it's looking bearish. And then for puts, I don't wait for the one minute candlestick to close. I get in as it looks bullish. And that's how I'm able to get the best entries because I will identify trades at key levels where, okay, this is where I want to enter. It's going to crash. And if it looks bullish at the peak with this green candle, I'll buy puts. And if it flips bearish on that one minute, I will have the best fucking entry and I will use a tight stop. And then I'll do the inverse for calls, right? That little tweak in terms of scalping in and out quickly, I'm telling you, in a two minute scalp, it drops a quarter, $2,000 profit, just like that. A $2,000 profit on a 25 cent move in SPY. I have people in the chat doing this, man. I'm telling you, we have millionaires within the chat. Dimitri's a millionaire. We have millionaires within this chat. And in terms of the trades, a Jim C, man, Jim C, man, Jim C absolutely crushed it this week. Mohammed, this is these are the in terms of the in terms of performance, these are the best weeks that I've ever seen in terms of them trading spy. Mohammed and Jim C, these are the best weeks that I've seen them trade. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, man. It's it's gonna be truly incredible, man. And this uh, meetup in New York City, man, it's gonna be great. All the best traders uh, within Trader Society are gonna be there, except uh, Jim C's not gonna be able to make it. But um, the top traders, man, the ones at the top, they're gonna be there. So I'm looking forward to it. But um, yeah, guys, use this weekend um to study. You know, utilize, implement what I said. If you want, you start practicing trading on Weeble, and um, you know, celebrate too. If you had a great week, you know, use some time to study, educate yourself. But um, you know, you work hard, play hard too. Have a good time, celebrate. It's the weekend, so um, yeah. If you want to join and be a part of Trader Society and get started, it's the first link down below in the description. It's a one-time fee. You get lifetime access to the community, to the Discord server, to the moderators within the chat, to my real-time trade alerts, to the live streams, the live voice channels, the video lesson library, the course. It is all within that first link down below in the description. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in and investing your time into your education.